Hey guys, hello friends, welcome back to another Watch of Realms video. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick and short video about uh, Gear Raid 1, Stage 18, using only Epic Heroes. Um, for those who don't know, there is a community challenge going on on Discord, so if you want to earn some gems, just go to Discord and, um, and do the challenge. Challenge basically is just do Gear Raid 1, Stage 18, with Epics only. I don't know if we can or can't use rares, so just to be safe, I'll, I won't be using any rares. Although there are a few that could be used, uh, I'm not going to use them. Like Autumn, I would usually use her, but... For the challenge, for the sake of the challenge, I won't be using her. Alright, let's get to the lineup. First off, I got the uh, North Throne faction using our trusted Isolde. If you're playing the game since day one, we had a very good ch chance to get her with the shard summoning. I actually got two and a half copies of her. So it is fairly easy to get copies from the Epic Lords whenever there is a challenge going on. That is why I use the Northerner and I use Isolde for the bonus. And the same goes for Eon. We have a short event running right now to get Eon and I'm using her as well because she's a she's really good and B the faction bonus is amazing for gear rate one so we do get a extra damage bonus to uh, every enemy that has any control abilities on them if they're stunned if they're slowed if they're anything we get extra bonus on them so those are the two lords that I'm using. Oh, that was a fail. Let's go. All right. Then I'm using Mari just to slow the enemies so I can use my uh, faction bonus. My main damage dealer is going to be in here. Iona, she's a really good unit. She gets power crapped by almost every legendary mag uh, mag magic hero. But for an epic, she is really good. So she's my almost only source for damage. I have... Alright, I got Greed as well. But he is... Like, most of my units aren't even built... Properly, I still have like level 12 gear, yellow gear on quite a few of them. She, Laurel, I'll be using just for her um, ultimate bonus, like the 50% ultimate recharge. And if you ch if you check out my Mari, she isn't built properly. I, I should have attack speed, like a bunch of attack speed, like three, four hundred. And uh, yeah, she just, this is like my first gear that I got. I put it on her and I never rebuilt her. <laughs> I'm also using Oleg. Um, my strategy is basically what I recommend to anyone who has uh, problems with the damage. This is like, if, if you don't have the mages, just like I didn't have the mages in the early game, like. I struggled a lot with gear rate 1 because I did not have the damage output for gear rate 1. And so there is a basic strategy just to have defenders up and slow the enemies down. And I'm going to use Isolde and Olak just to slow the enemies down. Yeah, that's basically the team and the strat. Like, there's not too much to it. Uh, as you can see, like, my power level is 422,000. That's very low. 
they say it's hard, but it's very much doable with this team. I've done it a few times. Let's just see that. Yes. So power of dominance is turned off. Once you've beaten it with three stars, then you can just use do it with the power of dominance and then you get a 30% bonus to all stats and then it's really easy. So yeah, let's get into the fight. This is my team. Let's get to the placement. All right. First off, I'll do my control heroes all on the top. And I do my damage dealing heroes on the bottom. Because I'm using the Loris to boost all my damage dealers. I put an Olag in it. I'll wait for the Dolores ultimate and then I pop both ultimate at the same time. Any control ultimate you can use it as soon as you get it. I'm putting in Isolde as well. So we got pretty decent damage, and now I'm using Laurel, put her in, and despawn her immediately. And you can see my Dolores is already ready, but I'm waiting for my damage dealer. What I can do is put up a second damage dealer. And now's the time where I'll, I'll be needing a healer pretty soon. Alright, pop the damage. Also pop every defensive ability as soon as you can. I'll despawn her because now I can use a Laurel again. Put Laurel on the field, remove her. Pop all the damaging alts again. Put up Greed. My Mari ultimate is ready pretty soon. And as you can see, Isolde and Olak, they're holding off the enemies. As long as those who are alive, the enemies won't be doing too much damage to the wall. Sadly, I lost Mari. My damage healers. Put up Laurel, remove her again. I got my damage dealer ultimates again. I can remove her now, put up Mari again. Yeah. 
Olak died, I can respawn him again. And that is basically the run. All that is left is the boss, and my units will slowly take him out. And almost all of these heroes are pretty much available to everybody. Like with Dolores, we just had a banner. Now I'm just popping every alt as soon as they're ready. Dolores was in the banner last weekend, so I really hope you guys got a, at least a copy of her. Uh, Hollow, you don't necessarily need necessarily need Hollow. You can replace her with a, a Vortex or any other heal healer. Same goes for uh, Lightlock. Just try to use the faction bonuses. And like this is not my fastest run. But it's a pretty safe run, not too much to it. As you can see, I have plenty of level 50 characters in it. Oleg is level 50 and uh, Laurel is level 50. Like there's Mari is level 50, Greed is level 50, like half my team is level 50. So you can do it as well, guys. You can do it as well. And uh, me personally, Gear Rate 1 is for me the hardest one just because I do not have Vierna. I do, I, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with the AoE damage as well. So you probably are not that far behind. And if, if I can do this, you can do it as well. I'm fairly sure of it. And the gear that I have is not too great. As you guys saw, my power is 422,000. So, yeah, you can do it as well. I'm pretty sure. Just use the faction, the faction lords, use the faction bonuses to your advantage. Uh, use northern, Northerners are really good because they give everyone a shield every so many seconds. And also, the other faction, you got damage for everyone who's getting controlled. Then you use Mari to control everyone. Just combo all, all of that. And also Laurel. Laurel is a really good unit, a key unit. A lot of people miss out because they don't use her. Uh, key point, really, really important. Laurel has to be five star ascended five times, like five purple stars. If she's not ascended five times, her ability where she gives you 50% of your rage or your ultimate charge won't trigger you have to ascend her five times let's just check the gear crit damage defense uh it has to roll perfectly to be of any use this one is trash let's get to the camp and just show Ro laurel real quick so this is why when I first started playing the game, everyone told me, use Laurel, use Laurel. And I tried to use her, but it didn't work until I saw this one. Like, this is the key ascension for her. The fifth ascension. Here it is. You get 50% of the rage cap upon Laurel's death. And you can just despawn her and it counts as her death. So that is really strong. You can use Laurel everywhere i've seen people use laurel in gear rate one gear rate two gear rate three um i have seen people use her in a guild boss just to get their ultimates faster like she is a really good unit and she does not have to be tanky you don't even have to put gear on her like all this gear that i have on her you don't need to put any gear on her because you're just spawning her and despawning her immediately like there's no need for any gear on her. But for the uh, faction wars, I use her, sometimes I use her for a, a longer period of time. So that's why I put some gear on her. All right, that is the uh, guide, the Discord challenge, the community challenge. Um, if you guys are interested, go to the Discord, um, do the challenge, like it's 500 gems, everyone who participates and uh, beats the stage on, with epics only gets 500 gems like that's that's really cool um and if this guide helps you a like would be much appreciated 
and if you need any other tips for any stage any uh, like for guild boss for anything just uh, ask me in the comments below and i'll try to do like just like this challenge i'll try to do a challenge video for myself and try to f uh, find a team combo for you guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a great week and i hope to see you guys in another video soon bye guys